When I was managing the Smart Park Incubator, we were looking for opportunities to commercialize topics or subjects or work with people from the university. And when the students came over one day and said, we want to start a company in robotics, and I felt that this was something that was worthy of our time and effort. When I first started my thesis, I'd mentioned robots and people would always make robot jokes or Terminator and stuff like that. But now people are saying, oh yeah, I saw on the news I saw this other robot or oh, I have a robot vacuum cleaner. So it's amazing how quickly robots are, are catching on. Cognition is a combination of cognitive automation. When anybody hears robotics in a company, they right away think of actual hardware. That's where we kind of differentiate ourselves from other robotics companies is we're strictly a software company. With robotic simulation, you can really test a huge number of programs really, really quickly and not have to constantly recharge your robot or pick it up when it fell down and also not break it when it does fall down. We have two main products, Robot Builder and Robot Sim. Robot Builder, you can take any components. You can start with some wheels, toss on a laser scanner, and then have it drive around and avoid obstacles. And then what you do is you take it from Builder and you put it in the simulator. So you could take this room around us and, and build a simulated version of that and have your robot behave in that environment and see how it performs. The initial feedback when we released it on the website was very, very positive. We had companies from around the world and universities from around the world contacting us and saying, uh, can you put our robot in your development environment? So we knew we had something that was good. One of our main clients is Aldebaran Robotics, the developer of the now humanoid robot. And it's actually used in RoboCup, the robotic soccer competition. It's a standardized platform. Uh, we work with the PackBot, which is a military robot, uh, which we don't have because we're not American military, but we've simulated it. And we've worked with uh, a lot of two-wheeled robots. There's a starter kit from a company called National Instruments. We did some simulation with them. I like that we're providing tools for robotics researchers to control both the real robot and the simulated one at the same time with the same code. So it's literally like you flip the switch and now it's simulated, flip it back and now it's real. So you could test the exact same program without any changes to your code, which as a developer is a huge advantage. In December of 2006 or 2007, we decided we would do a pilot project taking the approach that we want anybody and everybody to be able to use a simulator without being a program. So Quick Logic is now something that we featured at the Mantle Robot Games in a competitive competition for high school students who were able to program a robot to compete in a sumo wrestling match between robots and they were able to do so uh, without being programmers which was quite unique. Robotics really is the next big thing. It's, it's really going to change the way we live with you know, medical robots and, and service robots. There's going to be some other advances that you know, we can't even think of right now that are just going to change the whole ball game, right? <laughs> I think I've always been pretty interested in robotics. Just probably, honestly, cartoons and TV and from anything from Inspector Gadget to Star Wars or something like that. With the Robot Sim and Robot Builder, we're trying to make it so you can build a robot of any kind. You can just dream it up and try to make it. I think we're doing a good job, and of course, the stuff I'm working on now should make it even easier. One of the reasons that I was excited about working on robotics is because it became very clear to me that we've got a tremendous team that have all been educated in the robotics department at the University of Manitoba. Some of the work we've done has been acclaimed around the world. We've got many wins that we're very proud of and uh, we're proud to be a Manitoba company. <laughs>